In college football, some schools have bigger advantages than others. Whether it's money, facilities, or location, there are a select number of schools set up with a perfect situation. On the flip side of that coin, there are programs that are playing at a less advantageous position. These schools have to fight harder to be competitive, get more production out of less talent. On Thursday, USA Today compiled a list of 10 programs in the Power 5 conferences that have to scratch and claw to keep up with the more elite programs. Among those schools was Kentucky. It was ranked the ninth hardest school to win it in college football. Vanderbilt was the only SEC program ranked higher on the list. According to USA Today, Kentucky lands on this list because of the conference it plays in and a lack of coaches who can sustain long-term success. Kentucky's the second toughest place to win in college football's toughest conference, says Paul Meyerberg of USA Today. It's hard, though Rich Brooks and now Mark Stoops have shown that putting together back-to-back -to -back bowl trips is possible if given enough time to cobble together a competent roster. But Kentucky is notable for how hard it has been for coaches to maintain success. Meyerberg points out that Fran Kersey was able to get the program rolling for at least a couple of seasons in 1976 and 1977, but that success quickly dropped off. Jerry Claiborne led the Wildcats to a nine-win season in 1984, but never won more than six games outside of that season. Rich Brooks led Kentucky to four straight bowl games between 2006 and 2009, but he topped out at eight wins in a single season. One of the contributing factors to those poor records is probably that Kentucky is not the most fertile recruiting ground in the country. In the 2018 signing class, Rondale Moore was the highest-ranked player from the state by the 247 sports composite rankings. He was ranked as the number 229 player in the nation. In order to build a contender, the Kentucky coaching staff must either go north to Ohio or south into the rest of the SEC to recruit. In doing so, they must compete for Ohio State, Michigan, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, and other larger programs for top high school talent. Thus far, Mark Stoops has done fairly well. He's won seven games and gone to a bowl game in two straight seasons between 2016 and 2017. The question now is can he sustain it and get the program to take the next step? If he does, he will have the chance to become the best coach at Kentucky in the last 30 years. Stoops will start down that road on September 1 when his team faces Central Michigan in Lexington.